Hey Switchers, how's it going? Kanan here and welcome to my latest review, Treachery in Breakdown City. And before we get into that, why not hit that like and subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest content. And maybe if you want to go that a little bit further, hit that link down below and take yourself to our community discord. Come for the streaming, stay for the chat. And with that, let us see what Treachery in Breakdown Breakdown has in its corner gameplay. Story wise, it's a case of a president is kidnapped, police disbanded, and the city is in peril. And it's certainly up to you, as in the three of you in this case, to take back control. The game is kind of a mix between tactical battler, story, and kind of beat em up type thing. And when I read the actual blurb for the game, I thought, hmm, what could go wrong? And as we're going to find out, it's a little bit give and take. And so, you play as one of three characters. Each can be leveled up so that your stats do actually go up during it gameplay. All with different fighting styles like grappling and like a kung fu type style as well. And also different enemy types. Some that are like just runners that have hardly any health whatsoever. And are kind of easy to actually defeat. And some that do like brawling and things like that. And basically these are harder to defeat. You also get multiple characters on screen at the same time later on in the game. And some of these enemies can even buff other enemies, making them even stronger and harder to defeat. The story moves itself on whilst you're moving around this like map hub area. And this is where you also meet the rest of your team. And then once you've met them, you can kind of switch between them before any fight at your own will therefore you know if one's injured and you can't heal them then you can move to a different one unless there's a grudge match and these grudge matches are between the actual person and someone that you've met and probably talked smack to there's also characters on route that will give you information and also some dodgy characters that only have pissing you off and kicking butt on their agendas now it's not all doom and gloom, the actual map does have a few positives, like you can raid dumpsters for health pickups and also items to help get rid of things that have been put on you like blindness and all. Not quite sure I'd use any eye wash that I find in a dumpster, I'll put it that way. And then there's the kind of greasy spoon van where you can save your position and it also puts you to full health. Woohoo! But not everyone wants to just chat, some people want to fight too. And when this happens, well, you get put into one of those 2D, 3D thingy-majig arenas and it's time to duke it out. Now, here I'm going to give kind of like basics, as I will say the fighting can get deep it ish as in there's quite a bit to do and i want to avoid any war and peace epics here and so you get different fighting styles each style kind of works a little bit different towards other types and you can even recall or learn different attacks as you go on through the game the fighting kind of looks and starts real time like any other fighter. You can use the A button to punch and yeah, that will get you so far. But get close to a enemy, wait until it goes red and press X. Then you can choose different attacks and grapples depending on who you're actually using as a fighter and which fighter you're actually going against as some enemy types are better attacked using different things like grapples than other enemies that may respond differently to different types of moves and not all your actual attacks are accessible at the beginning you have to kind of like build up a combo as you go along and then you get to attack with the big guns 
Each move will require you to use like attack power and this FP stuff and it can get rather tactical at times whilst you try to work out which actual moves to use whether to build a proper combo or just go for it or which characters to take out first the one that's doing all the buffs or the actual main hard person or indeed where to use those debuffs or even health as in the food that you eat And quite often enough, but not always, after your turn, it's then the enemy's turn. And then again, it's up to you to decide whether to block, counter, or just to like stand there and try to look hard. All of these leading to slightly different results and outcomes. Add to all of this the fact that you can do like your own combos as in you can stream them together how you want most of the time and also you get to inflict like bleed or blindness or slow characters down so there's that tactical like bit to it as well and like as you go along this kind of like paints a picture of something a little bit more than your average brawler but let's not forget that the enemy can inflict things like that to you as well. I felt the game kind of started a little bit slow for me with a fair amount of talking and learning. The tutorial just seemed to go on forever and I kind of felt it went a little bit too far and the same with the actual chatting it's all like it does have funny bits and everything sometimes they miss and also sometimes it's just drones on it's like come on let's get on with it and I definitely have the feeling that certain people probably won't appreciate the slowness of the game and also the fact that I don't know if you've come in for like a Streets of Rage type game then well possibly this won't be for you but I think if you keep that in mind there is a pretty competent tactical brawler in here with a kind of decent fighting style that feels different enough to call it kind of fresh and a story that's okay enough to call okay and lastly I just want to mention the fact that it is actually a little bit repetitive in fact as you go further on you're pretty well doing the same thing over and over again and even the bosses yes there are bosses they kind of yet yeah, they have special abilities but it's kind of doing the same thing again it's it's all the same thing which is a shame Graphically, it's a nice hail back to the old school fighters with some truly funny looking characters and environments, but they all feel kind of empty. There's nothing going on here, which again is another shame. Audio wise, getting past my bugbear of things not being voiced, but I understand why. This kind of like is again old school and I can accept it but I really would have liked something a bit different to be done. The only highlight here is maybe the music. It's a nice throwback and yeah, it feels pretty good as you play. The good. It has a nice idea and nice combat style. The bad. The sound as general I would have liked a bit more from it I guess it's repetitive and it feels really empty the score as usual i score games out of five and also place the cream of the crop onto the wall of fame and the crap of the crap on the wall of shame and so let's see where treachery in breakdown city is going to lie and me personally i'm going to give it a three minus out of five a slightly below average game i felt like it had so many decent ideas but i kind of felt it was a bit lifeless you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again and i think it just missed that like calling that it could have really had something decent here 
had they gone that extra mile. And as for my alternative, I have no idea what to suggest. So I'm going to suggest you go out and buy Demon Rise Laws of Chaos, a turn-based tactical RPG, and then buy Streets of Rage as well and just play them together. One in each hand, yay! But I'm pretty sure that you lot could come up with a better alternative, so leave it down in the comments. In fact, any thoughts you have about treachery in Beatdown City, leave them down in the comments. That's what they're there for. In fact, if you've made it this far, type Wibble into the comments so I know that you're one of the hardcorers. And if it's your first time and you haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting that like and subscribe button to be kept up to date with all my latest content. And if you want to get further involved, don't forget there's that link down below for our community discord. Come for the stream, stay for the chat, because life is better when we switch together.